Hello lovely people, it's your boy Pasolo here. I'm very excited to share this one with you. It's my friend who requested this to make a video on this. So it's very simple to create a creeping mask in such a situation. So he wanted to clip this image inside the shape but he was finding it a bit difficult. So he contacted me and I decided to make a video for all of us. So without further ado, please give me a like, leave a comment and share this video. Okay. So first of all, when you have scenario like this, all you need to do first is to make sure you have your image selected. So let me hide this one and I have this and then I have my shape also. Both of them are here. So first of all, I'm going to add a layer max to this. So with this one, I'll go down here and you see this. Click on it to add a layer max. And with the layer max, you are going to see a white over here. Okay. Then from here, with the shape, so this is the shape. I'll hold down control or command and click on it. And you see that a selection is going to be made around the shape. So from here, I can pick my brush tool. And you know with layer max, black highs and white review. So with the help of my brush tool, so you select your brush tool from here and you can use the square bracket to make it either small or big. And when we start to paint, you see that it is affecting the image instead. Okay. So what you need to do is go to select and you are going to see inverse. So you click on it. And then you see that the selection have changed from only this area and you can see we have some here. So with this one, we can paint here, paint around this area that we don't want. So when we mistakenly click on area that we want, we see that this is what we are getting. So we want this area back. We can swap the color from black so that we can review that place back and you click on it to fill it. Or you quickly click on undo. So let me swap. And then you see this area, when I try to paint with this, but it's going to affect here. So I'll use the square bracket to reduce the size of this and paint this area. So control O to fit everything to screen. When you are done, go to select and make sure you deselect the selection. So boom, here is it. Here was before and this is after. So it's very quickly. Some people may think you can right click on the image and you you create a creeping max that isn't going to work. You have to follow this procedure to get your image. So let me release the clipping max and boom with this technique, you can see we have our result. So let's try this one. So with this image, you are going to apply the same thing. First of all, make sure you add the layer max to your image. So from the layer max, then you come to your shape. You click on control and then you hover over this. You click once on it. It's going to make a selection around it. Then invert the selection. So we will click on invest, select, invest, and it is going to make the selection in other way around, which means we can paint outside. Okay. So from here, make sure you have your layer max selected and then with your brush to make it big using the square bracket and we can paint from here so when you are done select and deselect i hope this tutorial was useful thank you very much for joining me on this one until next time peace